Hi everyone. <laughs> okay. Wow. So alien blackout. Um, I had a feeling it was a mobile game just because of the sort of games that Fox next was releasing last year. Um, I believe it was Marvel Strike Force uh, and also uh, X-Files Deep State. So it wasn't so much a surprise to me. It was just, I was just wondering what sort of mobile game it would be. And it kind of makes sense that it would kind of, it would be just like Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a very effective sort of formula. And because that sort of game is really popular, I get them trying to kind of piggyback on that popularity. And as well as that, it doesn't take much to go into a sort of game design that would be appealing. Um, trying to imitate Alien Isolation would be too hard on a mobile, uh, that sort of thing. But what I wanted to do is kind of read out a couple of reactions across different social medias. So uh, I'm going to go to Twitter right now. And <laughs> we'll just uh, share a few points of view. So here's Hayes YouTube. Uh, they say, really wish they just messed up the upload schedule. And this was intended for April 1st. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Herb Kaiser says, just name it. Five Nights at Ripley is already. You're fooling no one. Uh, Nail says, can't wait to experience such terror from my six inch screen. Said no alien fan ever. Uh, Reborn exists says, I'll pass on this BS. And you know, it, you kind of get the idea. So that's just Twitter. Let's see what people <laughs> on Tumblr are saying. Uh, someone's posted a meme. This is me when Fox confirms that Alien Isolation 2 isn't happening, nor Amanda Ripley movie, but they're cool with giving us a mobile game and MMO. And there's an image of this woman saying this fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, a blog post from Daily Aliens uh, on Tumblr says, Alien fans, we are finally getting Isolation sequel, Alien Blackout. There's an image of Sigourney Weaver saying, I'm happy to disappoint you. Oh, it doesn't look like people are liking um, Alien Blackout so far, which is a pity. I think it's a good opportunity for um, Fox to kind of find their feet again, especially with um, horror franchises being the way they are at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of expectation put out there for any type of sequel or reboot uh, to be done and not just in the Alien franchise but in franchises in general so it makes it a bit tough um, but for those people out there in Twitch land I'm wondering what your reaction is to um, the Alien Blackout announcement Uh, well, I want to talk about the pros and cons while uh, I wait for some responses. So the good thing about Alien Blackout is that it's on a mobile. It's accessible to most people with a mobile phone. It's not like a VR headset, which is going to set you back around 500 to $1,000. So it's going to be more accessible to people in general. One of the other good things is that with a mobile game being so affordable, you don't have to shell out close to $100, which is kind of how much we pay for games here in Australia currently. So that can make it very expensive. Another thing that you've got to consider is why Fox has decided to go for a mobile game. And, and that's kind of the way everything is going when it comes to making money. It 
makes the most sense to be able to do all of these things. Uh, and in general, I don't believe that a, a, a decent PC or computer game would be ready by this time, even for something to kind of showcase. So everyone knows what happened at uh, the Game Awards some time ago when they did um, the Diablo announcement. It didn't go down too well. <laughs> Let's just say there's a lot of memes that have come out since then. Do you even have phones? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of disappointing when it comes to that, but hopefully... Uh, and, and I believe the guys at Perfect Organism had said this too, that a game like this could be really great for the casual gamer because uh, Alien Isolation, even though it's a fantastic game, really love it. It can be really daunting to play something so scary. Um, it kind of puts a couple of people off. They, they want that sort of like first person shooter, Colonial Marines sort of feeling. Uh, and Alien Isolation doesn't do that. It's too much based on the first movie, and Colonial Marines, Marines is too much based on the second movie. So you're either going to get a uh, horror survival or horror action. And I think this is kind of um, uh, a mixture of both, probably more so for Alien, just because of the survival aspect and um, trying to get your crew to safety. And the, the use of Amanda Ripley is also intelligent because it's a character that we at least people who've watched the movies would be familiar with being mentioned in aliens uh, the gaming community would be familiar with from alien isolation and and the fact that uh, fox recognizes alien isolation as canon as well although alien blackout is kind of like a side quill to um uh, alien isolation even though it's a sequel it's not recognized as canon because it's it's a mobile game. It's nothing, it's just something to kind of tie people over, something to play while you're waiting uh, to meet up with someone. It's not gonna be a, a severe investment in your time. And I think for $5, it's pretty fair. I've already pre-ordered it. Um, I totally support this sort of medium. I wouldn't want it to be the only thing, but I think it's a nice way to start off the, the year because there's just so much that's going to be coming out from Alien um, and, and one of the announcements today was actually Memory which um, I had known about for a while now I've reported it on my blog and I first heard of it uh, through I believe one of um, the other Alien blogs which I'll, I'll post a link to so uh, Memory is supposed to be a documentary written about Dan O'Bannon and Geiger's involvement in the making of Alien and it's gonna contain a lot more uh, behind the scenes stuff and unseen concept art so I think it's an, a nice way to kind of like bring everyone back down to earth after the kind of like the blow up and the outrage from um, the Alien Blackout game and I'm not saying that you know people shouldn't be upset or people shouldn't be disappointed. Um, I, I, I kind of expected it to be a mobile game, so I, my expectations were were met. But um, I think people should stop this whole competition of outrage. It seems like it's always whoever's the first to be most offended is the best fan. Um, people threatening to burn all of their alien collector stuff. Um, yeah. Is, I, I don't know, I, I've never been upset about something to that sort of point. Well, when a fandom gets ruined for me, uh, or, or not even ruined for me, but I, I don't get into something anymore because it did not meet my expectations or it's not something that kind of made me happy, I still enjoy the stuff that was released previously. Like, for example, I've mentioned this so many times, but it's, I'm just using this as a, an, an example is... Uh, the Ghostbusters franchise. Love the original movies. Love them so much. Did not like the most recent movie that came out. But 
you know, I'm sad that there isn't going to be more movies coming out for the people who were fans. And I think that the movies still stand on their own without having the material affected by it. Uh, and I feel the same about the alien stuff. I mean, like I've, I've liked everything that have come out from Fox, but to me, if, if you don't enjoy what's being uh, showcased or released, then, then you don't. It's just as simple as that. It's just a, a matter of different tastes. I'm sorry if, uh, if these sorts of uh, decisions by Fox have affected you in a way where you want to burn all of your collectibles and models and, and throw out your DVDs. That's, if you want to express yourself that, that way, that's fine. But it seems a bit, it seems a bit full on. Um, <laughs> hey, if you don't want your alien stuff anymore, give it to me. I want it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not going to be the be all end all. They started uh, creating the Instagram accounts and Twitter accounts back in September last year. You know, there was this massive build up because we we kind of know that there's going to be a lot of stuff happening for the 40th anniversary of Alien, but we just don't know what it is and when they're going to release it. And they're really pushing the fact that. Um, we're going to see the story of Amanda Ripley and we're going to read, play and watch. So we know the read portion, which is uh, Aliens uh, Defiance sequel and also uh, Alien Isolation sequel. And it's going to be named Aliens Resistance and it's going to star Amanda Ripley as well as Zola Hendricks. And I was kind of I was wondering why Zola Hendricks wasn't mentioned in the the marketing, but it might be because that not many people follow the EU and I've seen a couple of people say comments like fuck the comics um, I only want to watch movies and I think that's a bit I don't know I think the comics have been great so far uh, Dead Orbit was really really awesome Dust to Dust which I uh, just finished recently was really really cool um, yeah I just I don't see what's so bad about the, the comics currently so yeah uh, sorry guy I don't agree with you uh, I also would like to say that there is still that game coming out from um, Cold Iron Studios, and as far as I know, it is an MMO. Uh, but just to backtrack a bit, uh, Fox have confirmed that Alien Blackout will not contain microtransactions, so you don't have to worry about that. Everyone's uh, stressing out and kind of overreacting and putting words into uh, Alien Blackout's mouth. It's, uh, yeah no need to overreact it, it was never going to be a thing anyway on to the mmo game uh, so this game that is being developed by cold iron studios will be available for pc and console that this sort of information i found out through uh, career listings on the cold iron studios website and through linkedin and through other uh, job and gaming websites and i follow these on a regular basis so i've just compiled it all into the blog and I've included the link in the blog post so if you go to utani.studio now you'll be able to see all the information there and that's, that's what I'm reading from. Uh, this is going to be a PC and console shooter base uh, on the Alien franchise. It's immersive, uh, there's lots of rich sounds to engage players and drive the narrative. It's a triple A audio experience by utilizing expertise in gameplay audio, dialogue processing, integration and final mixing. There's going to be um, authentication, chat, and a marketplace. So I don't know whether that means that there is going to be microtransactions in the MMO, but it kind of makes sense if you're going to be creating this sort of um, world that we can go into. I want to be able to buy stuff. Uh, <laughs> I would like to be able to buy a flamethrower um, or a fire extinguisher or something like that, you know, something from, from the movies. And if it's uh, cheap enough, um, I'll buy it. I don't mind. I'm a collector, so that's what I'll do. Uh, as well as that, there's going to be 3D weapons, uh, mechanics and armor, which is really cool. So I really hope you can get into a power loader and kind of fight aliens. That would be absolutely off the wall. Fucking awesome. Um, and there's also going to be an in-game story, playable events, missions, jobs that are supposed to be fun and challenging and a narrative journey through the game. So that doesn't actually sound too bad to me. I know a lot of people aren't into uh, MMOs, um, but that's kind of what I was playing before I stopped playing games uh, 
in general. So I know that I've been playing Metroid Prime, which is an FPS, but uh, before that I was playing Skyrim on the PC. And, you know, uh, before that, long time ago, I used to play World of Warcraft. So I think an alien MMO is really exciting. I hope they can do it right. If they could get it on the absolute epic scale that some other space games like uh, Elite Dangerous or um, No Man's Sky have done. And I know No Man's Sky did not come out of the gate at 100%, <laughs> but it's really good now. So if they could duplicate that kind of feeling, get that sort of like fan base interaction where we could just go into the world of Alien, it all tied me over. I'd be really happy with that. So yeah, um, all those people whinging out there, settle pedal <laughs> don't get your knickers in a knot there's no reason to and and yeah just kind of enjoy what's going to be announced and what's coming out we are so lucky this year as alien fans there's going to be so much being announced there's going to be the tongle films there's going to be the books there's going to be the comics there's going to be um uh, making of books which i've heard about as well so i think there's like two of them so yeah there's no uh reason to be upset this is the year where Fox is giving so much to us. And I think as fans, um, as dedicated fans, if, if you're really into that sort of stuff, buy the books, buy the comics, buy the games, you know, support them, show them that the alien universe is worth investing in because, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Um, I know that Disney is kind of like, wrapping up their finalizations with uh, 20th Century Fox. You know, the um, park in Malaysia is like up in the air. There's just, you know, the, the sequel to the prequels, is that ever gonna happen? Um, we've had rumors of the streaming series, is that ever gonna happen? All of this stuff is kind of on hold now because that unsure how to approach. And I think if the fandom acts like ungrateful shits, <laughs> like other fandoms have with other um, sci fantasy or sci fi franchises, they're just going to kill it. They're just going to say, you know what? It's too hard to please these people. And not saying that you shouldn't have your opinion or want something good. Um, I think it's been really hard in general for any uh, movie franchise or, or book franchise to come up with a game that is equally as good as the book or the movie. Um, I've, I've never seen it happen and vice versa games to movies. They haven't really translated very well at all. Uh, so yeah, I think the only thing that that's successful in that sort of translation is comics to movies and um, movies to comics everything else has failed and i think that we should stop being so hard on poor d3 go who um did the mobile game and we should stop being so hard on cold iron studios because they, they literally have not said anything yet they said that they're working on the movie um and they haven't released anything and all the teasers that are coming out from 20th century fox that's their viral marketing department uh marketing guys in general they're good at marketing stuff, but they don't know how to market to fans and, and us fans. We can get a bit riled up because we have a lot of expectation when it comes to the alien franchise. We have an expectation that they're going to announce a movie or we have an expectation that they're going to announce a show. Um, and, and their job is to actually keep a lid on everything that they know and only re release things bit by bit. So I think this is a build up. I think the mobile game makes sense that this is the first thing that they announced because let's face it when they announced the uh, Diablo mobile game that was the last thing that they announced so it, <laughs> it went it was not um it did not go down well <sighs> so yeah that's that's my ramble um yeah I don't know what else to say about the whole situation except that I'm excited um Hi, Mad Troll Gaming. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat screen. How are you? So Alien Blackout is only going to be for mobile gaming. It's not going to be for um, consoles and PC. That will be a different Alien game. We do not know the name of yet. 
and that will be on um, on PC. That will be uh, on PC and console. And we yeah, we don't know what the game is going to be yet, but it's going to be an MMO, and it's going to be cool. And I think people should just you know chill out. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sorry. My um, bandwidth is doing really badly currently. So I apologize if um, it's been freezing and cutting out. I think it's because it's school holidays and every man and their dog is currently using the internet on the street. So yeah, I will make sure um, that my uh, streams in future will not suffer from this sort of lag. But anyway, I should get going. Thank you for tuning in. This is Mother, signing off. <laughs>